Now to the latest developments on the uncertainty in the banking world. Treasur Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen delivering remarks this morning defending what she calls the decisive and forceful actions by regulators to prevent more banks from failing. ABC's Ike Jachi has the latest. Today, in a speech to the American Bankers Association, Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen saying that the Biden administration's swift response to protect depositors' savings in the Silicon Valley and signature bank collapses was key to fortifying the broader U.S. banking system. The government's recent actions have demonstrated our resolute commitment to take the necessary steps to ensure that depositors' savings and the banking system remain safe. Financial markets appear to have stabilized, especially shares in regional banks. U.S. officials add that at the end of last week, fewer Americans were pulling their money out of banks, further proof of growing consumer confidence in the banking system. The situation is stabilizing and the U.S. banking system remains sound. Still, the problems affecting smaller and mid-sized banks are far from over, like First Republic in San Francisco, which is still struggling despite several large banks pouring in billions of dollars to help shore it up. Its stock fell more than 47% Monday, with S&P Global downgrading the bank to junk status. That ratings firm warning the recent $30 billion cash infusion from 11 big banks may not solve its problems. The Wall Street Journal is reporting J.P. Morgan Chase CEO Jamie Dimon is leading discussions with the heads of other big banks to make a large cash investment in First Republic to help stabilize the troubled bank. Similar actions could be warranted if smaller institutions suffered deposit runs that posed the risk of contagion. During tomorrow's Federal Open Market Committee meeting, Fed Chair Jerome Powell will announce what the Fed is doing with interest rates. Many are calling for a pause in rate hikes. Ike Ajachi, ABC News, Washington.